Let's do some wor word problems. As you can see, my handwriting has improved dramatically. I've been practicing. No, I actually just figured out that I could actually type on this thing. Anyway, so what does this word problem say? Jamie picked 17 flowers, and Lindsay picked 12. They gave away 20 of the flowers. How many flowers were left? Let's think about this. Jamie picked 17 flowers. So let me draw that. So Jamie picked 17 flowers. So let me draw something that represents the 17 flowers that Jamie picked. This is kind of my traditional Singapore bar. Let me make that in yellow. And the length of this is going to be 17. And the units are flowers, 17 flowers. And then what does it say? It says, Lindsay picked 12. And so let's just think, they're saying, well, you know, one person picked some flowers, another person picked more. Then they gave away 20 of the flowers. So it sounds like they're saying, you know, they combined their flowers, gave 20, and how many were left. So what we want to do is we want to combine the flowers that Jamie and Lindsay picked. So Lindsay picked 12 flowers. So Lindsay's flowers. So we're going to combine them. Lindsay picked 12. So that's Lindsay's flowers right there. She picked 12. And so well, first of all, how many total flowers did they pick? Well, 12 plus 17, that's 29. Let me do that in a neutral color. So the total flowers picked are, is 29, right? 17 plus 12, 2 plus 7 is 9, 2, 29. And then they say they gave away 20 of the flowers. So they gave away 20 of the flowers. What color do I want to do that in? I'll do that in blue, green. No, 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 I already used green. I'll do that in brown. So they gave away 20 of the flowers. They gave away 20 of the flowers. How many flowers were left? So they gave away 20. So we could view, that's their total. And if they're, they gave away 20, so let's say that this is what they gave away. That's the flower. No, well, I, I didn't want to do it like that. Let me. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that, especially. I didn't want to lose the window. No, boy, everything's self-destructing now. There you go. OK. Let me draw it with a traditional way. So say they gave away 20 of the flowers, so it's going to be something like that. That's how much they gave away, 20. And I'm overriding my 29. All right, so how much do they have left? So they, they had 29. The whole length of this thing is 29. They gave away 20 of them. So the amount that they're going to have left is this, right? Or the difference between 29 and 20, right? This distance right here is 20. So what's 29 minus 20? Well, that's 9. So they have 9 flowers left. Let's do the next problem. And now we're on page 37 of the book. Let's see how well versed I am in typing. Let's see if I can pull this off. It's like my typing window. And I'm going to, t it says 125 children took part in a mathematics competition. 54 of them. Or girl, not grills, girls. How many more boys than girls were there? Not were there. There you go. How many boys, more boys than girls were there? So let's see if we can handle this one. 125 children took part in a mathematics. So that that tells us the total. That's the boys plus the girls. Is 125. Right? 125. 54 of them were girls. So how many boys were in the competition? So if we, if we do boys and girls, and I'll use stereotypical colors, because I don't know any better. So if this is the number of girls, so that's the number of girls, which we don't know. Right? Oh, no, we do know. That's 54. There are 54 girls. 54 girls. That's given here. 54 of them were girls. And then we have some number of boys, which is unclear. Draw that. So we have some number of boys, which we don't know. Boys. 
But what we do know is that the boys and the girls combined are 125. So we know, for example, that this entire number is 125. The boys plus the girls are 125. So how many boys are there? Well, it's essentially going to be the difference between 125 and the number of girls. So boys is going to be equal to 125 minus the number of girls. And we get minus the girls. Right? And think about this. Actually, this is kind of a little bit of pre-algebra. This statement actually comes directly from the fact that boys plus girls is equal to 125. Right? This is called an equation. An equation just says, well, what I have on the left side is equal to what I have on the right side. And then essentially, if boys plus girls is 125, if I took the girls away from both sides of this equation, I get this right here. Right? If I took the girls away from this side, I get just boys on this side, boys. But if whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. So I have 125. So I did minus girls here, but I also have to do minus girls on this side. And that's where I have the 20, 125 minus girls. If that confuses you, ignore it. But just think about the fact that the boys and the girls are 125. And that's the same thing as saying 125 minus the girls is equal to the boys. And we know that the girls are 54. So we'll say b for boys is equal to 125 minus 54. And let's work that out up here in this corner. So 125 minus 54. 5 minus 4 is 1. Well, we have to, it's essentially 12 minus 5, so it's 71. So the boys are 71. So are we done? Well, no. They didn't ask us how many boys are there. They asked us how many more boys than girls are there. So they want to know the difference between the boys and the girls, right? So what's the difference between the boys and the girls? So it's essentially going to be the boys minus the girls equals what? Well, we know the boys, there's 71 boys, and we know that there's 54 girls. And I, you could do that in your head, but if you don't want to do that in your head, let's do that in the corner up here. So 71 boys minus 54 girls. Let's see, so let's borrow a 10. So that becomes a 6. That becomes an 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. Right? I always have trouble with 11. Yeah, 11 minus 4 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1. So there's 17 more boys than girls. And if we actually were, well, I won't worry about that. Let's do the next video. I'm excited about my ability, my newly found ability to type these things. Let me do it in a new color. Let me do it in a bold yellow. Let me make the typing box. That's my typing box. And what does it say? Ali collected. That's actually the name of my cousin who figured out a new way to subtract numbers without borrowing. But anyway, Ali co collected 137 stamps. He collected 27 stamps less than his sister. How many stamps did they collect all together? Okay. So in order to figure out how many Ali and his sister combined collected, we have to figure out how many did his sister collect. We know Ali collected 137, so we have to figure out how much his sister collected. Well, how do we do that? Well, he collected 137. Let me draw that. Ali collected 137 stamps. So we can make that with a little bar like that. And the length, of course, is 137. That's how many stamps Ali collected. And it was 27 less stamps than his sister. So if I were to draw his sister's stamps, you know, I would be a, I could do it. This is a Singapore math style. So it's going to be more, right? Ali collected less than his sister. So his sister collected more stamps. And how many more did she collect? Well, we know that. He collected, let me do that in a different color. So it says, he collected 27 stamps less than his sister. So the difference between the amount Ali collected, this is Ali, 
and his sister that these numbers clash is kind of hard to look at but anyway the difference between ali and his sister is 27 stamps so this diff distance or this difference is 27 stamps so how many stamps oh so how many stamps did his sister collect well think of it this way the difference between ali's uh, Sister stamps and his is 27. Or you could say Ali stamps plus 27 is equal to his sister stamps. So how many does his sister collect? So this this length right here is going to be 137 plus 27. What is that? 7 plus 7 is 14. Put the 4 here in the 1's place. And then we could say carry the 1 or just write the 10. It's 4 plus 10, so put the 10 there. 1 plus 3 is 4. Actually, this is 10 plus 30 is 40. Plus 20 is 60. And then you bring down the 100. So she collected 164 stamps. Fair enough. Now they want us to know how many stamps did they collect all together. And I'm picking my color. How many, and that's, that's too similar to a color I've already used. I'll use this one. How many stamps did they collect all together? So essentially, they want to know. How many total stamps the Ali plus his sister? How many stamps did they collect? Well, Ali collected 137. The sister we just calculated collected 164 stamps. So we just have to add these two numbers, and that's the total number of stamps. And you could almost view it as you took this bar and you put it beside this and measured that total length. But anyway, what's 7 plus 4? It's 11. Put the 1 in the 1's place, put the 10 or the tens digit in the tens place. 10 plus 30 plus 60 is 100. That's 0 tens and 100. Or you could say that 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10. Carry the 1. Either way. 100 plus, 100 plus 100 is 300. So altogether, they collected 301 stamps. I will see you in the next video.